for introversion software, three friends that met at university, we decided that we didn't want an ordinary life. We wanted to set up our own games company, a dream that some people said was not going to be achievable. But I looked Chris in the eye and I said, Chris, build it and they will come. Sorry, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Introversion Software have just announced their big deal with Valve to launch Darwinia and Steam. And we thought we'd go right back to their roots where it all began. Here is Imperial College in London. These are the guys. So, morning. Mark, morning. Tell me, how did it all begin? Well, it all began back in, I think, 1997 when we all came to this hallowed establishment. Uh, the three of us met in the uh, halls of residence and um, it all sort of progressed from there, really. And uh, so Chris, you must have shown the game, the first game up link. I did, yeah. The guys, and were they impressed? They just came back from a big night out, and I was just there working away at four in the morning. And they they happened, yeah, and they happened to see the game in development, which was completely by accident. And then, because uh, I think I was probably going to actually give it away, and uh, they just decided that instead they'd rather sell it. I sort of uh, sit at the top and, and grease the wheels a bit. There's um, nothing specific that I do, but there's always little problems that come out of the woodwork, just little bits and pieces that need to be resolved, need to be, decisions need to be taken. Sometimes in a company of three, you need someone to, to just sort of say, right, that's the way we're gonna go if there's a difference of opinion between the other two, so. Hello, my name is Chris Delay and I'm the director of the special projects at Introversion Software. And we're here at Imperial College, where it all began many years ago. Well, I actually, I always wanted to work in the games industry, and I did work in the games industry for a while, but um, I generally really hated it because there, were just, there weren't really working on anything that was ever very interesting. It was always, it has already been taken over by very big licenses and, and really rather boring games to make, so I just decided the only way that I was going to make good games was by making my own good games in my spare time. I do the sales for our company and I also hold the first rings. This is so much fun! We get to get out of bed at 10 in the morning, we get to go to bed at 2 in the morning, we get to party hard, play life, do it all! Do it again, don't do it like a dick. <laughs> our generation saw the entire games industry come from really poor, um, sprightly little graphics all the way up to full 3D that they are now. We've seen that whole transition occur. And, uh, and Darwinia definitely is full of references to old games that were around in the Spectrum days. Yeah, the key is just to keep things as, as cheap as possible, then you've got a much better chance of, of making the money last than you have. In terms of selling it, you, you really want to go direct to consumer as much as you can. Uh, digital distribution is perfect for this. And thirdly, the most important thing is PR. PR, PR, right? Don't pay for advertising, just use PR because you'll get a lot of media exposure because you're small, you're innovative, you're on the edge, you know, if people want to hear about it, you've got a story. They don't pay for advertising, it's way too expensive, it won't give you much of the return that a good piece of PR will. Okay, Tom, tell me, what's next on the cards for Intervention? Well, in the next three or four months, we have a new game called DEFCON. It's uh, really cool, can't say too much about it just now, but you know, there's going to be more information coming, uh, coming the right way soon. But it's, it's top dog, it's going to be great. I hope you enjoyed that short look into the world of introversion software. Bye.